that's got a very interesting shape. It looks like it's been cr crushed yeah. while it was petrified because yeah, so. it's not got a broken part. It, so you see these that have perfectly round edges and then it's, it's not a breakout. It's not something that's broken away. It's an indentation, an impression yeah. in the rock. And it's curving. So it seems like it got petrified while it was being squashed. Okay, so here's two interesting rocks. Start looking at these things with new eyes. You realise there's a pattern. This is uh, biological. So this is another interesting rock that I'd like to show everybody. It's interesting for its colour, and it's also extremely interesting because of its morphology. We can clearly see that this has been squished into its shape while it was soft. If this had been squashed while it was already hard, it would have pulverized, cracked, or broken into pieces. But this is bulging in certain areas, so it can sh you can see the compression has been made while it was soft, before it petrified into stone. Then you start seeing the other things, which might be like the gristle, as we'd find in a steak. Some of them are just, you know, they might be kidneys, they might be, uh, they might be, um, that's it, yeah. So there's all like, sorts of petrified organs yeah, down like, on the like beach. Yeah, like here, it's a kidney shape, right? Yeah. And in kidneys, this is where the blood vessels enter and exit, right there at the, the indentation in the kidney. So, you know, but if I said, oh, this is a kidney, people are going to think I'm crazy. And that's why I focused on the hearts more yeah, because it's they're, they're way more distinct. Yeah. There's more correlations. But that but definitely has a kidney look to it. <laughs> You know, they take on all different shapes. Every every one is is uh, different, and people are gonna. Well, you're just cherry picking, or it's pareidolia. You you're seeing something you want to see, and that's and we that's love pareidolia. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I'd rather have a pareidolia than just a dolia. <laughs> now that uh, makes going the beach a little bit more interesting still. We all need to recognize these things. It's clear as day, the truth is in plain sight. We all know that wood can petrify. Well, now we have evidence to support the idea that flesh and organs can petrify too. So in the next episode, we're gonna be looking on the larger scale. I hope you're enjoying the series. You just have to use your imagination. But if you think this is just a big load of bollocks, then this geode might be a petrified testicle. So, you know, just keep an open mind. Because whenever you're out and about on um, a hike, you can go um, up a mountain or you can go to the beach or along a dry riverbed and you're going to come across these harp-shaped stones that seem to have dents and um, sometimes even openings flat at the top, dented on the left and on the right, tends to be an inward curve or a flat back. So there's plenty of um, opportunities for everybody to help verify or refute this uh, field of research. At no point are we asking anybody to believe, but rather to compare evidence by making the primary observations so that we can maybe let go of this uh, obsolete theories and uh, beliefs in secondary information. Thank you.